guys, welcome back and hey to everybody that is new as well. So today is a very special occasion for us, it is our one year anniversary of being on YouTube. So to mark the occasion, me and my guys have decided to hold a competition for a free 15 minute reading. Um, so what I need you do, guys to do on this piece of paper is a number between one and a thousand. Nearest number will win. Uh, what I need you to do is write the number that you guys think it is in the comments. And again, nearest number will win. I'll announce it on the next video reading who has won. There will still be a turnaround time on the videos, I'm afraid. Um, but free 15 minute reading. Pick the, pick the nearest number between one and a thousand. Uh, nearest number will win. And I'll announce it in the next video reading. Thanks for all of your support over the last year. It's been a very interesting year for us. Uh, us being me and my guides, I always say us, but me and my guides, it's been a, a very interesting year for us. We read locally for like eight years and then going into the big wide world of YouTube, it's been a very different experience for us, but we have enjoyed it. Um, so we wanna thank you for all of your support. Thank you anyway, but free 15 minute reading competition. Nearest number will win. Answer in the next video reading. Okay, I think I've said that three times now, I think that's good. Uh, I'm going to put this away and then I will check it next week, see who's won. Okay, could this be love? Deck number one and deck number two, pick a deck. Uh, think about you, think about your person. This is a masculine deck, this is a feminine deck if you are drawn to the energies. Uh, my guide isn't saying anything about going to a particular chakra, so just go with the deck that you are drawn to most. Number one, number two, could this be? We thought we'd do a more light-hearted one today. I am aware my third party followers would love a third party reading. Uh, probably won't do it on the next one because it's going to be the competition answers, but the one after that, promise, third party reading will be coming. Um, okay, think about you. <laughs> think about you. Could this be love between those that picked deck number one? Think about your person. So, as always, as you know, it works for the strongest mutual energy between you all. Okay, and can you tell me... Could this be love between them and their person? What's the current energies of love? Could this be love between those watching and their people? Strongest mutual energy between them all. So where it's not uh, without regardless of situation and circumstances, it's just your mutual energy. But yeah, nice light-hearted one for our year anniversary. Could this be love? Three. Yeah, man. You yeah, man. That's good. Three. Could this be love? Four. How many do you want? Five. Six. Woo! Two more. Doing an eight card reading. Seven, eight. Okay. So, the overall answer is there is a very strong possibility can you get my words out then? Possibility that this is love, yeah. Um, what's currently happening with you and your person? Um, they seem to be quite heavily burdened by what uh, you don't actually know about them or what you do know about them. Um, they, with regard to what that means, is um, they are worried that you don't actually know the real them, you know, and they know that you care about them they know that they care about you but what your person is actually scared of is do you know the real them and the answer is you you probably do but they have this concern that stuff has happened in their life that would put you off them uh stuff that's happened when they were kids stuff that's happened when they were older some of you they've kind of sugarcoated it told you a little bit about it um but they haven't told you the whole situation um and there's your person is currently worried that um that you won't actually love them for who they are, that you won't love them unconditionally. Because if they tell you something that's happened in their past or tell you the full extent of what has happened, they will panic and think, oh, well, she doesn't, act oh, sorry, sorry, lads, never gender specific or sexually orientated. It is just because I am a woman, it comes out my mouth. Um, worrying that there is stuff that you don't know about them. Now, they have told you bits of it, they have told you their story, um, quite a lot of them, but there is some stuff that they've just hid, kept to themselves, um, and the reason why they've kept it to themselves is because they don't want to feel vulnerable. Now, because there is love here, and because there is emotions here, um, they panic that because of that, that puts them in a vulnerable position, and then if they told you the full extent of what's happened in their life, that you won't actually like them, and it will be another love that has kind of gone to the wind, which, if you get rid of all these fears that your person is having, there is a very strong 
emotional connection between the two of you. Um, temperance, Seven of Cups, Page of Wands. Your person is kind of, they might feel like they're backing away from you. You guys might not be in contact. And even if you are in contact, again, you might feel like they are blowing a little bit hot and cold with you. The reason for that, again, is because they do know that they have strong feelings for you, but they don't know how to communicate it to you. And, and at the underlying cause is because they are worried about what you will think about them. Uh, they know there's going to be a number of choices and decisions that they have to make. Their emotions are flowing between the two of you. There is a very strong love connection here um, and they are aware of that they are aware they are aware that they love you um, they are aware there is a, a heart connection what they are scared of is that um, you won't actually like them for who they are once you got to know them properly or knew the extent of what they've been up to now that is their fear it's not actually as bad as what they seem to be making it out to be it's not it doesn't have a bad energy um, it's just that stuff has happened in their childhood that or, or when they were younger or in their teen years whenever your individual circumstances are um, that they have got this fear around and think well how will you take it when I express to you um, what's actually happened would you still love me then and they do feel that it is a fear and they do feel that there is a way around it and they do feel that you would do because they know that you are practicing unconditional love in their soul they know that but there is that fear going on so they can act a little bit childish they can act a little bit um, flippant I just heard um, a little bit nonchalant, I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I heard that as well. And you then start to worry that they actually don't care about you, that they've lost interest in you, um, that it's not working out how you want it to be, you're feeling like you're standstilling and they're not making any moves towards you. Um, those of you that are just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, I always say runner chaser, but it's really the standstiller, you feel like you're standing still. Um, and you're panicking a little bit about that, but underneath all of this, there is this, this strong love, but they just feel that they're not good enough for you, and that is what this panicking mode is. Um, however, you also have the Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups, heart-centered energy, romantic new beginnings, things moving forward. They will express it to you, won't be as bad as what they're thinking it is. You will actually be really understanding. And even if this isn't, if you're not in communication, this will still come around when the time is right, when they feel they can open up to you and express it. Um, your best bet when that happens is to be non-judgmental and to listen um, without a judgmental ear, because judgment and expectation are the mother of all efforts. So please keep that at the back of your mind. Um, releasing expectation, releasing any judgments that you have about your person, releasing meditations to help you with that. Um, what crystal was that? Spirit just showed me. Um, I saw a few of them. Tourmaline, rose quartz, citrine, um, and an amethyst. They're talking about putting them in your bra, if you're a girl, in your pocket, if you're a lad. Um, anywhere close to you to kind of clear these energies up. Your person is going to get their confidence. They are going to express to you how they feel if they haven't done so already. Um, if some of you that is in a couple of weeks. Some of you, if you're not in contact, could be a couple of months. Your individual timings would have to look at in personal readings, but that is the collected timing. And the reason for it and the reason why you are where you are at the moment is because they have these underlying fears that you're not going to love them for who they are. And you have to remember, you know, people say love and hate are the two emotions in the world. It's not true. Love and fear. These are the only two emotions in the world that the people act on. And these are the mirror energies. So love will always come with a certain element of fear. And they don't want to hurt you and they don't want to hurt themselves because they've been through a lot. So they just kind of withdraw a little bit, take a little bit back um, and then overthink, overanalyze. Um, but it's going to move towards you, you're going to have your celebration and you're going to have your happy endings with them or your happy new beginnings, it's not even ending, happy new beginning with them um, floating on emotions, feeling better about everything even if you're third parties, it's still the same you know, there's fears that they don't want to leave the situation because um, they're not good enough because you don't really know what's happened in their life that they feel that they've let you down all that kind of merging energy is means they're hiding away from the love side of things but there is love underlying the root root of it all is love which is making them act the way that they are acting that's step number one 
So it's cool, that's fine actually, that's not too bad, just a lot of kind of fears going on. Remember, if you are sending them energy, your best bet will to be resolve the fears in yourself and ask that to echo onto your person. We work with the mirroring energy here, um, rather than pushing energy onto them because they can accept it or they can decline it. But if you are working with them on a higher frequency, on a soulmate level or a twin flame level, if you do the work on yourself and ask that to mirror onto them, it's using your soul energies to echo it and they will accept it then. Number two, what am I on? 10 10. Oh, endings and new beginnings. Okay, let's do this. Can we get into deck number two's energy? Think about you. <laughs> Think about you. Deck number two. Oh, I'm jumping everywhere. That's just your energy at the moment. I need your person's energy. Okay, think about your person. So, as always, works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of situation. Two. My hay fever is so bad in Britain today. I'm like, right, sniffle it. So, apologise. <laughs> okay, can you tell me, please, deck number two, could this, be, could this be love? Could this be love? Love, love. Do -do. That's too many. Could this be love? Just got a uh, say you won't let go. Who's that? Is that James Arthur? I don't actually like that song. Say you won't let go. Okay. Is this love? 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 Football chant going on over here. Some avid footballer uh, fans. I do mean football, not soccer. Sorry. Uh, it is a football. Well, I don't know if you use that as a chant in, in American so or soccer. That's my English naivety. But Okay, is this love? I got really distracted then. This is communicating with my guys about spirit and messages and football. Some definite avid football fans in this deck. Three. Is it love? One more. Four. Okay. So, 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 so. Okay. Your person and you are feeling a little bit stuck at this moment in time. You feel like nothing's really progressing. You're feeling a little bit trapped. You're feeling like your uh, song, that's another Taylor song, dancing with your hands tied just because she's tied up. Uh, you're feeling like you're dancing with your hand, di hand tied hands tied and one of them lyric spirit just highlighted to me is about can you dance for an avalanche and it's about it's a song about love and fear it is a song about love and fear um that is coming forward into your energy really strongly strong sexual energy which is keeping the two of you together strong emotional energy which is keeping the two together there was a very big uh impact on lust here lust is coming forward quite clearly but with lust there's also love um Lust is the first thing though. Lust is coming primarily into this energy before love does. Your person and you are both clinging on to the situations. You're trying to keep more balanced. There's a few third party followers in this deck. Um, you are still clinging on to the situation with them. They are still clinging on to the situation with you. And even if you're not a third party, that is still what is going on. Um, it feels like you've been on this rocky sea. You've been trying to level out your emotions. Um, you know, you've always as a whole your person's always stayed quite close to a harbour so say they are a boat or they're on a boat and they've always stayed quite close to the harbour and what's happened recently between the two of you is your person has taken their boat out to sea and they've got kind of swamped with all these emotions feeling that they can't see land anymore so your person as a whole will have withdrawn tried to get back to the harbour so they can be safe and sound again and from that if that makes sense to you they're clinging on to their emotions um, clinging on to their feelings for you but they just can't be they don't want to be swamped and overwhelmed with them how they were a few weeks ago a few months ago etc etc so that is what's currently happening you so your person took their emotions out it's watching my dog <laughs> took their um I don't want to do nothing embarrassing while I'm recording for you um so the, your person has took their little sailboat 
from the harbour where their emotions were nice and steady into the sea, got overwhelmed with these emotions, realised that they can't see land anywhere and they've tried to take their boat back into harbour um, and, where, and study their emotions for you. It's been a bit of an up and down roller coaster between the two of you. And a lot of that is to do with the sexual energy between them, between you, your passionate energy and things like that. It might feel that your person is not in contact with you at the moment or they are withdrawn from you at the moment or you're not sure if you should reach them, message out. You are both echoing this energy. You're both feeling a little bit lonely. You're both missing each other. Um, you're both feeling like they're trying to row away from problems rather than resolve them. But there is going to be a resolve to this because they are realising the truth of your spiritual connection. They're not happy with how it is at the moment, neither are you. The situation they know has not come to a close. The door is still kept open for both of you. Again, even if they, you are still in contact, the door is still open. They do still want to see what happens here, but they want to do it in their own time and at their own speed and without being pushed. But the thing is, they aren't happy at the moment, this moment in time, which means that communication, if you're not in contact, is going to come. It means if they're, they're missing you and feeling lonely and you are feeling that as well, there is going to be that, that need to get back to you. They're going to get into hunter mode, Spirit are saying, um, and once they get into hunter mode, they're going to come and look for you, find out what you're up to and see what's going on in your life and see if there is still a chance between the two of you. Um, again, feeling fed up with the situation. It has been a rocky road. There's going to be some offers that they make to you. You guys are either going to accept or decline and they're not really sure how they're going to go about that at the moment. They basically know what they want to do. They're just not quite sure how to do it at this moment. Um, but they are being guided by spirit. There is divine intervention going on here and there is going to be a link of your energies together. Your energies are definitely merging at this moment in time. So on a, on a 5D level, your energies are merging in the 5D, which will then reflect down onto the 3D. And from that, you will have your longer term objectives of things moving forward and fortune turning in your direction. There is love here. There is also a strong sexual energy and the sexual energy is outweighing um, in their head, outweighing the emotional side of things at the moment. Um, reason for that is because emotions kind of made them go into the harbour and they got these emotions flowing everywhere. So they've decided to focus on the kind of more chemistry between the two of you, the sexual energy, the lust side of things. And it isn't because they haven't got emotions, it's because when they think about their emotions, they get swamped with tidal waves. So they've gone back to kind of feel a little bit safer so that they will focus more on the sexual energy and feel safer while they're doing it. Um, there is still a chance here, it isn't over. When they do come back, make sure you stand your ground with them and tell them what you want, not what you don't want. You're both clinging on to the situation. They have been feeling stuck by their emotions. And again, even if you're third parties, it still echoes the same energy. You're both feeling a little bit lonely. Even if they are in a relationship with someone else, it doesn't mean that they are happy. You know, um, they can, you, you, you ever been in a room full of people and you haven't felt the loneliest person in the world? I have. Loneliness. You know, just because it can be shown all over Facebook does not mean it is the real world. And a lot of times people will put posts on Facebook to save their marriage or their relationship. You know, if people like it, a hundred people like it, it makes them feel better that the relationship is not working. Remember that. Outcomes are being met, things are moving forward, spirit are looking after you. There is coming back towards you. It is about to do a second round. Um... And if they seem to message you more on a sexual energy than a heart-based emotion, just go with it. If you don't want it, say, excuse me, don't talk to me like that. But if you do want to see what happens and go with the flow, they will open up to you about their emotions further down the line, but it's just not quite yet. So they'll act on the passionate side between the two of you and that chemistry. And from that, that will then merge into emotions and into love. And they'll talk to you about it and express it to you. And that's deck number two. So yeah, both of them are pretty good, to be fair. One of them, deck number one's hiding in fear, and deck number two is focusing on, on sexual energy. But underneath all these fears and, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, there is love. But they've just got to kind of put on their big girly knickers or manly knickers and, and deal with it, you know? And that is the one thing that can take time. Is there a collective timing for deck number two? Uh, Depends on what you're asking about. Uh, two months, I've just heard really clearly. That uh, doesn't actually feel to be contact. That seems to be um, talking more about emotions. It's roughly two to three months. Remember, time is fluid, can change. And remember, this is a collective timing. So if you want your individual timings, uh, drop me an email. Book reading, mrlovetaro.gmail.com.
mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Uh, I do 15 minutes, half hour and single question and I've got a free 15 minute reading, nearest numbers to 1 to 1000 will win and I'll announce, announce the winner in the next video reading, next public reading. Love you all lots, take care, God bless, bye!